Hey guys, I'm going to review uh, a Fiat 500e, which is the electric version of uh, uh, the two-door Fiat. Um, watch the video, see what you think yourself. Uh, I think they're awesome cars. Uh, an electric car is, is an awesome car, but uh, the, the Fiat especially, uh, entry-level electric car. Um, anyway, uh, any questions, uh, message me through YouTube or Go on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash RBC Group LLC. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks. So this is the Fiat 500e electric version. Uh, this is a 2017 model. Um, I've driven a bunch of them over the years. Uh, actually, I've driven a, a pretty much every electric car that, that, that's ever been made. Uh, this is pretty much one of the least expensive electric cars you can buy uh, in the used car market um, and, and they're great 24 kilowatt battery pack uh, gives you a range of about 100 miles uh, I think the best I've ever gotten in one of those uh, driving city uh, uh, was about uh, 100, 15, 120 miles range when driving really conservatively uh, but um, let's see how we do today it's a bit chilly out here today so um, we'll see if the battery is going to give us a decent range or, or, or a little bit less than what I usually expect um, so again this is it <coughs> this is a 2017 version model How is it, it, booty judge? it has um, 16,000 miles on it um, it's charged to 15% uh, showing range right now 52 miles um, so it's a little bit less than uh, my normal average um, But it is really much it, it is 55 degrees here down in Florida, but um, it, it is pretty cold here for our <laughs> For our normal temperature. So anyway, uh, let's uh, get it started I'll get the navigation going to show you where we are at Hasn't got your, got your signal yet. All right. So being an electric car, extremely quiet. Uh, there's virtually no vibrations. Uh, uh, there's, there's no there's no no gasoline engine vibration, no transmission. Um, it basically it, it feels like a golf cart on steroids, literally. Uh, I mean, I mean it, it will go interstate speeds, it, it will easily do um, 70 miles an hour. Um, uh, I think the top speed is, uh, I, I think from my memory, 88 miles an hour. That, that's limited by, by a computer. Um, and, but with city driving, you know, going 45, 55, regular uh, city, city driving, it, it, I mean, this is an awesome little car. So we'll make it right here. We'll come out of my neighborhood. As you can see, I mean, we're already going 40 and, and I'm barely touching the, uh, the, uh, the accelerator. Um, we'll see if we can get to the red light and, <laughs> and I'll push it a little bit more once we get out of the neighborhood and out of all the school zones. Um, as it, it is morning hours driving to my office actually which is about 15 miles away uh, I do have to make a quick stop by Walgreens uh, to pick up a FedEx package that's been sitting there for past few days So the navigation found the signal. I'm going to get the navigation map going. So all of the 2006, 16s and the newer models, they come with a navigation built in. It's a TomTom -tom based navigation. Uh, they have a serious uh, satellite radio. Um, obviously a USB port, auxiliary port. Uh, Automatic AC, um, 
um, heated seats, which here in Florida we, well, I guess I can actually use it today. Uh, it is pretty chilly. It's uh, outside, it, it's showing 54 degrees right now, which is not too terrible for all of you folks watching from the northern states. Um, but to me, it, it is pretty cold. Um, let's see, so right now, it is showing 49 miles, 57%. If I turn off the AC, it's going to increase the mileage uh, by about six miles right now. So um, just about 10% or so. Um, and um, like I said, usually when I drive these cars, this is actually the second day I'm driving this particular unit. Um, I, I had it detailed yesterday. Um, and the computer, what, what it does, it, it actually calculates the range depending how you're driving the car. So, so the last 30 miles or 30 minutes, whatever it's using, whatever the algorithm is calculating, um, that's how it, it calculates the range for you. Um, the better you're going to drive for longer periods of time, it's, it's going to calculate it, that, that you're going to use that same average uh, I mean, it's it just like the gasoline car, basically. I mean, it, it, in the car you're going to drive, whether it's electric or gasoline, if you floor it all the time, if, if, you, if you drive ver really aggressively, um, obviously you're going to get, you know, lower miles per gallon in, in a gasoline car. Um, I mean, I, I will take a Honda Civic that, that's supposed to get like 30 miles per gallon. If I floor it, if I drive crazy in it, I'm going to get like 20 miles a gallon. I mean, there's just no, no way around it. Same thing with gasoline cars. Uh, I mean, sorry, electric cars. Um, so if I drive calmly, you know, and I have no idea how, how the previous person was driving this, obviously. Um, it, it's also been sitting on a, on a truck. Uh, I bought it in California. I had it shipped here to Florida from California. So it's been sitting for a couple of weeks, uh, you know, not being driven. So it, that algorithm calculated uh, the range accordingly to that. Uh, usually when I, when I drive these Fiat's for a couple days, um, the, you know the computer adjusts to 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 my way of driving, and, and uh, that range actually shows way better. Um, like I said, uh, city driving, uh, I'm able to usually get about 100, um, 110, even 120 miles close to that city driving when, when I'm driving really cons conservatively. Um, so let's see. Get out of the traffic here. So you notice on the dashboard right here, there is um, there's your range, and then right next to it, there you have a couple of arrows. Uh, the arrows means basically how you're doing according to the computer versus your previous average. So actually, right now I'm doing a little bit worse than uh, than than the calculated average. It, it's showing 52 miles, but the arrow points down, meaning that I should expect slightly less range uh, and it could be that it, it is cold so it, it, it is heating the batteries up probably slightly uh, the batteries are also not as efficient um, remember that the, the, the lithium batteries there are they're not solid um, so in cooler temperatures the uh, the, the, the semi-solid substance of 